Howdy, y'all. My name is Prize of Kardashian. some more Statue Fatty. It is Emily's birthday. I don't know what she likes. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think on that. Hi, guys. How you doing? Uh, let's get some stuff and do the things. We have two days left until the next season. That means there's a lot of stuff we gotta plan for. Uh, Maru doesn't seem to be home, so I assume that she is out either working or she's doing stuff outside. Oh, we got this rare seed to plant. I forgot to do that last time. Let's just take, let's take it at a slow pace today. Slow, slow pace. No big stress. Top secret. Here's the recipe for my famous blueberry tart. Don't tell anyone. I'm giving it to you because we're such good friends. Pierre. Blueberry tart. Cool. We're good enough friends with Pierre to get that. Very nice. So I got to make sure to keep my relationships all up and going. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, okay. People tell me I need to give Maru gifts more frequently. So I will attempt to do that as well. Give her one of these awesome cauliflowers, because I believe she really likes cauliflowers. Uh, so we'll give her that gold star one. It is the 27th. Okay, so we got one more day, and then I'll start picking flowers and things. Because these flowers, they'll make us some money, too, when we sell them, finally. Alright, let's go see our little babies. How y'all doing? I actually, I have a plan for something I'd like to uh, build today, or at least start to build. Um, so we might do that. Um, get the foundations for it. And, and you'll see what it is once I get it started. But it'll also give us, um, it'll make us use up more of our space on our farm. And uh, that's something I'm looking forward to doing as well. All right, let's, um, do, 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 do. Oh, man, I love this music. I can't help it. Every time I play, I just get so excited. It's like I forget every week. And then I play, and then I remember. Oh, that reminds me of something else. <laughs> I've used those words a lot. Um, <laughs> memory is something I would said I might talk about uh, in a future episode. So maybe we'll talk a little bit about memory today as we go along. Just a couple little things here and there. Because there are a lot of pieces um, to the puzzle that is memory that I think um, y'all might find interesting. So let's say hello to everybody. Everybody. Good morning, Margaret. Good morning, Golden. Good morning to the Golden Girls and to Eunice and Adelia. All of our favorite little sweeties. All right. Uh, are you milkable? No. Okay. Even days. Even days is what I need to remember. Even days are goat milk days. Okie dokie. Let's just get all our cow's milk. And there we go. Okay. So, memory... Uh, is something that... Oh, I bought that mahogany end table, too. That's right. It's so fancy. Uh, memory is something um, that... it uh, A lot of people, um, like the normal view, the I guess you would call it the layman view, I guess. It's Saturday as well. Okay. Um, is that memory is just one thing. That it is your ability to recall past events. Um, and that is sort of a simplistic view oh we can tear up this whole thing too um it's a simplistic view of uh what memory is and how memory works so um now most people are familiar with the concept of short-term and long-term memory right that uh, you have memories that are recent and you have memories that are more distant into the past however the reason that we even have the distinction between uh, those two different types of memory is actually because they work very differently. They exist in different parts of the brain, and uh, as a result, they um, uh, operate very differently. And so because of that, we, uh, we like to be sure to talk about them differently as well. So uh, let's talk about short-term memory first. So short-term memory is not necessarily what you might think it of is of, you know, memory within, you know, the last week or the last month or something like that. Usually what short-term memory is referring to is memory within the past couple of days. Sometimes it's referring to the memories within the past couple of hours. Most of the time, short-term memory gets turned into long-term memory when you sleep. Okay? It may not happen on the same day, it may happen like a day later or something like that, but usually short-term memory, when we're talking about that, what we're saying is this is a memory that you just formed uh, and is yet to be transmitted to the parts of your brain associated with long-term memory. Now, the thing about um, short-term memory is it exists in a part of the brain called the hippocampus. Uh, the hippocampus is a very interesting structure. It's part of what we call the limbic system. Some people often refer to this as the reptilian or the lizard brain, um, which is not necessarily an incorrect terminology. Um, 
It is the reason it's called that is because it's a part of the brain that we see in animals that also includes reptiles. Um, as you go through the evolutionary chain, you see um, different structures start to appear. One of those structures is what we call the cortex, which is the wrinkly part of your brain on the top of your brain. And that seems to be pretty, um, pretty exclusive to mammals in the form that we see it. Uh, now that's not to say that lizards and uh, other reptiles don't have a type of cortex, but it, uh, it is different um, in shape, structure, and uh, capacity to that of what uh, mammals have. So we tend to call the cortex in mammals the mammalian brain, the limbic system the lizard brain. Um, so uh, the short-term memory lives in that quote unquote lizard brain. Uh, oh, someone said I need to hold on to this and I can uh, actually turn that into wine or something like that. So we'll hold on to that blue jazz, honey. Uh, okay, anything else I want to just sell? No, let's go deal with our inventory. Let's go find Maru. That's what I should do. Oh, Maru's right there. Perfect. Hello, Maru. I have a gift for you. Is that a oh, wow price? This is spectacular. You're so welcome. I never realized the amount of care and planning necessary to run a farm. It's a lot like working in the laboratory. I know, right? It's crazy. Um, okay, so short-term memory. Lives in the hippocampus, in the lizard brain, in the limbic system, L-I-M-B-I-C, system, uh, center of the brain. Uh, and a big portion of what that limbic system is associated with is also emotion processing, all right? So it's where your emotions come from, specifically things like fight or flight, anger, aggression, fear, uh, a lot of those fight or flight type uh, experiences. Now, uh, let me just deal with this real quick just to get stuff out of the way. You need to remember to go get some hardwood. We're getting there. We need 100 hardwood, and then we can get the um, uh, stable, which would be really nice. All right. We'll just probably end up selling these green beans, and let's start busting all this stuff up while we talk. So... Um, your short-term memory, it lives in this limbic system area in the hippocampus, right? And the hippocampus, um, being associated with short-term memory, it has a certain unique structure to it and the way that it works. And it's actually one of the few parts of your brain that uh, continues to produce new brain cells across your lifetime. A long time ago, it was believed that you did not recreate any, or you did not create any new neurons uh, once you were an adult, that they were all laid down when you were... Um, uh, in utero when you were um, an embryo. Now, uh, in recent years, we've actually found a lot of evidence and uh, we have you know, very conclusive evidence that in fact, um, there is um, neurogenesis is what it's referred to as uh, within several structures in the brain. One of which is the nose, all right? In the, or the olfactory centers, but your nose uh, is constantly creating new neurons um, in order to replace ones that die. It's kind of the structure of how the nose actually works, specifically how the sense of smell works, um, is neurons uh, die, uh, and then they're reborn. Re, I say reborn, remade, uh, reconstituted. Uh, let's see, so we got one, two, three, four, one, two, and here. So that should cover all the way up to here is what that would cover, those two. So I could do that. We'll think about that. And then maybe like these guys for like the rest of these areas, because this guy will go one, two, and then we'll need somebody here. So it'll be something like that, right? So yeah, it'll be something along those lines will cover us going forward. Okay, so um, the reason that that's important, that it forms these new uh, neurons is that that allows it to be a little bit more fluid than other structures in the brain. It's, uh, it gives it a little more leeway with its um, interconnections and whatnot. So short-term memory is a very fluid thing and it's something that's constantly being written and rewritten and rewritten all day long while you're um, going through your day. Uh, as a result, it's a little bit harder to do recall. It's a little bit harder to do certain things with it, but it also um, has a number of benefits to it uh, as well. But uh, I don't want to get too deep into that right now. Okay, so we got all this stuff laid out vaguely. I'll mess around with this a little bit more in a bit, but I wanted to start doing something else. Aha, that's right. Okay, let me take some more stuff over here. Let's go check the greenhouse real quick just to see if anything grew in. Oh yeah, we got a couple things finished. Okay, 
Uh, let's see. Let me... I need to deal with my inventory right now. I have way too much stuff on me, and I feel like I should be able to get rid of a lot of this, and I haven't yet. So, uh, let me get rid of... This I need to sell. This I need to put away. This I need to plant. This I can sell, 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 sell. These guys can go in here. Uh, boop, boop. Torches go here. Uh, mahogany chest for... Well, no. If I don't put it in my inventory, I won't get rid of it. Um... All right, we'll just have to deal with it. Let's go sell a bunch of stuff, too. Um, so, uh, the hippocampus is where your short-term memories are stored. Now, when you go to bed at night, uh, what happens while you're dreaming, while your body is kind of um, uh, dealing with its repairs for the day, a lot of sleep has to do with essentially just kind of um, resetting and repairing your body from the small amounts of damage and impact that you have throughout the day and uh, kind of help you to organize your memories. That's another big portion of it. I'm just going to go ahead and sell that. I know that I can give that to Shane, but we'll just sell it for now. Uh, and we'll sell that too. Uh, and we'll sell these. Okay. So, um, while you're sleeping, you turn those short-term memories into long-term memories. They get transmitted, they get transferred into uh, the other parts of your brain and reorganized. And so what that does is it helps you to um, better connect your old memories that you have from long, long ago to what happened in your current day. This is why sometimes when you have an experience during a day, um, you don't quite make a connection to maybe something that you did in the past or something else. Uh, and so you just kind of don't think about it. And then like the next day you wake up and you go, oh, that's right. And you connect these new memories with these old memories. It's because they those memories have now been organized and put in places to line up with, oh, I need my scythe, to line up with your um, um, older memories. So they're now, you know, physically, if you were to think of a memory as a thing that exists in your brain, right, because of the neurons that are connected together, it essentially physically now exists next to other memories. It's really much more like a computer, though. It's like a file sorting system on a computer. And what you did during the day, let's say um, you're like me, and you're the kind of person who uh, all the time, you're constantly saving stuff, even though you shouldn't be, you're constantly saving stuff to your desktop. Um, and, you know, just all day long, all day long, you're um, saving stuff onto the desktop. It's whatever you see today. It's whatever the stuff you want to save for the future. You're saving it to your desktop, saving it to your desktop. You're not organizing it. You're not putting it in order. It's just in the order of how it happened, right? It's just kind of all there. Um, and so you don't really... Um, if you were to just look at the mess that is your desktop at that time, you would go, man, this is a mess. What's going on here? And then, let's say while you're dreaming, while you're going to sleep, that is when you decided, hey, I'm going to go and organize all of this stuff. It's getting out of hand. It's out of control. I really need to get this stuff in order. And so you put them into folders. You put them into places where they belong. Suddenly they're organized. Maybe you take a bunch of those image files and you put them into a folder that you've always had for image files. And suddenly they're next to all the other images that they fit with. And it starts to be a little more organized. It starts to make a little bit more sense. That is what happens when you're sleeping. That is how you form long-term memory. Um, the, another form of memory that we have is we have the um, working memory, which is also, uh, uh, it's essentially a, mm, are these going to actually grow there? I don't know if they will. Let's start this over again. Uh, I'm making a tree farm here, by the way, and this is not a tree farm for chopping down trees. This is actually going to be for making maple syrup and um, pine tar and all that stuff. I felt like we could have a little bit of a farm for that stuff, and it might be kind of cool to have. Uh, anyway, so you have working memory. What working memory means is that's the memory that you're literally working with right now. Your brain has to store stuff um, while you're trying to use it. Okay, so let's use the example. Uh, let's spread it out like this, maybe. Um, and y'all can tell me how close these guys can be, and maybe I need to do it else elseways, but... This will still be fine. Um, do, do. So, um, working memory is referring to uh, your... Do, 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 what the, the memory that you're currently using. Uh, and so, that would be, like, let's say you're doing a... You know what? I think they can be closer than that. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's, let's do it like this. One, one, two. I think they can just be one apart, probably. We'll try it. I think they can be closer together than orchard trees is essentially what I'm thinking here. Um, 
But next episode, or on the comments, y'all can tell me if I'm right or wrong. But let's get back to talking about memory, because I know some of y'all were interested in hearing about this. So uh, your working memory is the memory that you're currently working with, and this has to do with, say, um, you are working on a math problem, right? And you need to remember, all right, I need to add these two numbers together. I also need to remember to do the proper order of operations, and I also need to remember to hold on to this little piece of information. Uh, whatever you're currently thinking about, that's your working memory. It's what you're currently working with, all right? That's basically what that means. That's what that stands for. Uh, and so that working memory uh, is something that is very limited. Um, you can only hold so much information in your brain uh, at one time, specifically in your working memory. And so um, we uh, are only able to access that tiny little bit. So that is, if you've ever heard, there's like a little kind of phrase that goes around or a little kind of um, uh, saying that's something to the effect of you can only hold um, seven pieces of information in your brain at any one time, in your thoughts at any one time. Now, um, it's not, I wonder if this is actually going to cause issues with the trees. Uh, maybe we'll wait to put down paths. I want to put paths all in between them and stuff so no weeds or anything grows and they, and they don't um, start growing little saplings everywhere because um, I don't plan on cutting them down. I plan on only using these for all getting pine tar and maple syrup and stuff. So anyway, that working memory, there's this idea that like you can only hold seven um, ideas in your head or thoughts in your head at one time. So like let's say I told you to remember a sequence of numbers, right? I'd be like, remember 34, 16, 18, 90, 26, 87, 2, 10, right? And I told you, like, remember all those numbers, all right? I can't even remember them now after I just said them. But uh, if I told you to remember all those numbers, after a while, after of me telling you to try and remember all of the numbers, you're going to start to have to, like, struggle to remember them all, right? And so you might start coming up with ways of remembering them all. You'd be like, okay, I'm going to combine those two numbers together, or these two numbers together. That's you attempting to work with your working memory. Your working memory is essentially like RAM. Uh, and so it works very much like computer RAM in that you have a very limited space. It's constantly being written over. And the reason I bring this up, and it's right before we're going to go, oh, I didn't give a birthday present to Emily. I'm the worst. I didn't remember. I wasn't using my memory. I was focused on the long-term memory, which was telling you guys this little lecture here. I didn't focus on the short term, which was I knew on the calendar that it was her birthday. But I remembered right before I went to bed because I was reminded by the calendar. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the reason I bring that up is because that working memory, that's the same thing as your short-term memory. They work in the same way. It has to do with the capacities of your prefrontal cortex being able to monitor your hippocampus and your hippocampus to be able to be so flexible and change on the fly so that you can be like, okay, now I need to think about numbers. Now I need to think about colors. Now I need to think about words. Now I need to think about this. Your hippocampus can adjust to that really quickly. All right, let's go to bed. Let's talk to Mari. She's probably going to be really mad at me if I do. I can't decide if I'm craving chocolate cake or ripe strawberries or maybe both. Be honest. Am I gaining weight? You're not gaining weight. You're beautiful. All right, let's go to bed. It wouldn't matter if you did gain weight. Are you still the same person? That's all that matters. All right. We sold a bunch of stuff. I didn't sell the cheese, so we didn't make as much money today as we might have previously. Okay. So that's memory. Um, I don't know if there's much more I want to say about memory right now, but there is a lot of really interesting stuff out there on memory. Um, and uh, I think there a lot of y'all would be interested in that. I never even looked at the, the TV yesterday, did I? Uh, the weather's going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Fortune teller says spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed, so luck's not on our side. Great. And Queen of Sauce says, lucky lunch. An old legend has that there's a meal is irresistible to the spirits of luck and fortune. Oh. Cool. That could be really good, actually. Lucky lunch. Let's look at that. Where's the lucky lunch? Radish salad, chowder, coleslaw, cranberry candy. Ooh, cranberries, apples, and sugar. We might be able to make that in the fall. A bunch of that, actually. That could be really good. Plum pudding, artichoke dip, stir fry, radish salad, algae soup, pale broth. What's algae soup? Just, just green algae. I can make tons of that. Um, stuffing, farmer's lunch, survival burger, dish of the sea, miner street, roots platter. Nope. Where's the lucky lunch? Do, 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 do. Ooh, a complete breakfast. Oh, wow, you combine tons of stuff together. Plus 50 maximum energy. That's huge. I, I doubt it's permanent, but that's still huge. Glazed yams, pizza, fried mushroom, lucky lunch. A sea cucumber, a tortilla, and a blue jazz gives you 40 health, 100 energy, and plus three luck. Oh, man. Maybe we hold on to some of those blue jazz flowers. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Hmm, we'll have to think about that. Hi, Mario. How's your morning going? 
One of the best things about living on the farm is waking up to a chorus of songbirds. Aw, that's sweet. I was just noticing the other day, I was looking out my window and seeing some birds and stuff going through, and I was like, it's real purdy when them birds are out. It's a super gift. Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, we're at 13 stars. 13. Oh. Whoa. What was that? Was that from giving her a gift? You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of pig. Your maximum energy level has increased. Wow, that was cool. Honey, I wanted to give you a, a, that fruit as a symbol of my love. Aw, that's sweet. That's super sweet. All right, let's put down our really intimidating table next to our really intimidating throne. It's a very intimidating table, the most intimidating. Um, okay, now, what do we get? All right, I need to plant that seed. I need to go deal with all the stuff in the... Um, um, what you call it? In the greenhouse. I was so focused on talking to you guys about memory yesterday, I wasn't focusing on the gerb. But that's fine. Let's do our gerb. Now, I also believe I need to... There's a place I need to try and be today at a certain time. Let's see if I can remember to do that. I'm not so good at remembering that. Um, but yeah, man, if we, if we can make a bunch of those lucky lunches, that's going to be really good for, like, the kind of, um... Uh, if we want to go and like do a bunch of mining or something, we can totally go do eat a bunch of lucky lunches or eat one, you know, eat, eat them throughout the day and get better um, results, right? So when we do decide to go down into the um, scully mines, I think we will uh, try and eat a bunch of those lucky lunches. I'll uh, save some of these black j or, uh, blue jazz uh, flowers. I think I was saying black because I just clicked on the void thing um the blue jazz flowers we'll save a bunch of them in a chest and then we will um have those around for when we do decide to make some of those lucky lunches that'll be great it'll be perfect all right did we get all the eggs usually i have one left over on these days let me just check real quick don't see it anywhere don't see it anywhere okay i'll just assume that just one of the whoop, nope just one of the chickens just didn't lay an egg and that's fine okay and today is a goat day and a sheep day. Okay. Do, 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 do. You know what I think it is with the goats, or I mean with the sheep versus the um, uh, rabbits for making wool, is I believe that the rabbits, much like the... Nope. The rabbits, much like the um, other animals in the coop, uh, produce things based more on their happiness, I think. Whereas the animals in the barn, the, the happiness matters, but you still always get the product um, regardless. Rose has no milk. No, I'm not looking at Rose. I'm looking at Eunice or Adelia, whichever this one is. There we go. And, nope. Blanche has no milk. Okay. Did I not? Who did I not get? I got one, two, three. Oh, I got them all. Okay, cool. Um... Because, you know, like chickens will always produce the eggs, right? And then the quality of the eggs is determined by their happiness. Um, but it seems like the rabbits, kind of, they produce wool, sort of like the ducks produce duck feathers almost, like infrequently. Gordon, are you finding any truffles, man? Your little snorfer? Just snorfing along. He's so cute. It's Sunday. Let's go check the Sunday market while we're over here. Um, and then I can put the... When I come back, I'll do the... Um, the milk into cheese stuff. Oh, kid dokie. All right, so we missed Emily's birthday. I'm the worst because we were good. We were doing well on birthdays throughout this whole month, and then we missed hers. I think we might have missed one more, so it's not like I didn't have a perfect record, but I need to do better than that. Dangus. Oh well, it happens. Such is life. Fried mushroom, apple sapling, parsnip soup, basic fertilizer, puffer fish, blackberry cobbler, leek, battery, rare seed. What is this? Is a painting? Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, hmm. I don't think we really want any of these. I can do the rare seeds. I mean, I know that they'll be really valuable. It's a small investment. And let's go ahead and pop over here and let's get our um, hardwood, because I didn't do that yesterday. All right, I'm thinking maybe this will be our new kind of uh, order of operations. Instead of immediately going and turning stuff into cheese, maybe I take that opportunity to be like, nope, heads out first, come back up, and then turn stuff into cheese. I think maybe that's a better idea. Because then I'll remember to do this, and then finally we can get a gosh darn uh, horse like we've been wanting to for forever, and I've never had one. <laughs> I 
I'm actually really excited. There are actually some mods um, online. I saw a, um, I think one of y'all mentioned it in the comments, and so I looked it up. And uh, there are some mods that you can get that actually change what the horse is, that changes them into a completely different animal. So uh, <laughs> that's something I'm intrigued by. Ooh, ooh, I gotta get moving. Um, it's something I'm intrigued by. Um, so maybe we will uh, do one of those at some point. First, I'll get the horse because I want to see it like the way that the game's supposed to be seen, the way it's normally played. But I, um, I think it's uh, possible that uh, we could maybe switch that up at some point if people are interested and if there's a good option. Ooh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to where I need to go. Just don't think I have enough time. I'll have my coffee at the ready, but... No, I'm not going to make it. Aww. So, apparently, on the playground, there is a thing. I'm still going to try. That on the 28th of the month, at exactly noon, you click on a certain bush, and you get a thing. I don't think I'm going to... Whoa. Whoa. What's this? Okay, guys. Do you remember your lines? Yeah. Ready? Action. I thought we had something special. I guess I was wrong. I... I, uh... Cut! I'm sorry! It's hard to remember my lines when her face is right in front of me like that. Oh, hey! She got my new camera. Jojiko is having a video advertisement competition. The prize is 10,000 G. Hey, I want you to be in this shot, okay? Just walk by Clint and Emily in the background while they're talking. It'll give the scene a little more authenticity. Yeah, nice. Let's do it. You can do it, Clint. I believe in you. Okay, ready? Action. I thought we had something special. You said you wouldn't leave me for anything. I guess that was a lie. No, it's not like that. This is just something I have to do. It's very important to me. I've just got to try new Joja Blue Cola. It's got three times the sorbitol for a thick sweet blast and it's cheaper than water. But, but, isn't soda unhealthy? You promised me. Have no fear, my dear. The world-class science team at Joja headquarters have determined that Joja Blue does not cause a significant erosion of the stomach lining. So you can drink it whenever you like, as much as you like. The real question is, when will you turn blue? Ah. Cut! That was perfect! Thanks for the help. <laughs> I did such a good job. Clint? <gasps> he turned blue! No, Clint! <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're not going to make it in time. I thought I could, but no. It's too late. I think it's, um, like, one of these bushes up here. It's like the... This bush, maybe? You come here right at noon on the 28th, and apparently you get a thing. One of y'all's been telling me in the comments for forever, and I was planning on doing it. I wanted it to be like a little secret surprise, but I spent too much time doing other stuff. Man, the time in this game ticks by so quickly. It's so hard to really do stuff like that um, when you have to also do all of your farm stuff. But oh well, it is what it is. My apologies for missing that once again. Um, okay, now... Inventory's totally full, so let's go and throw a whole bunch of stuff in the sales bin. Get that all going on. And then we can go into our um, greenhouse and start working on that stuff. Horseradish gone. Dandelion's gone. Cheese gone. Let's go. Oh, we got to do the milk. Let's do all that. Do, 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 do. But anyway, yeah, we'll try again next season. One day we will get that little uh, thing from there. So let's grab... Doot doot and doot and doot 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 doot. Okay, and we go like a this and say, Mayonnaise across the board. 
Who doesn't like some mayonnaise, I say, knowing full well that I, in particular, do not like mayonnaise. I do not like mayonnaise whatsoever. I find it pretty gross. Um, it's actually, it's funny. It's, uh, I think it's because in, this was a thing that one of my teachers did when I was in grade school. I think I was probably like fourth or fifth grade, maybe. It was a little science thing. And it was show, uh, to show how much fat is in different types of foods. And it's a very simple little experiment. Call it an experiment. It's not even much of an experiment. It's just like a little demonstration. Uh, <clears throat> you just take food, put it on a paper towel, leave it out overnight. All of the oil within that food will drain into the paper towels. Um, tiny little dollop, tiny little drop of, um, what do you call it, uh, mayonnaise. And it soaked like three or four... Um, sheets across the whole table. I think from that moment on, I was so disgusted <laughs> by mayonnaise, knowing that there was so much fat in it um, that I just, I think I, it turned me off of mayonnaise. But if you're into mayonnaise, that's cool. That's your thing. I'm, I mean, I eat plenty of stuff I shouldn't eat either. It's just a preference thing. I just find it funny that I, uh, I internalize that so much. I mean, obviously, look, I just, I've just talked about it. Um, and it's, what, been 20 years Okay, let us, just looking at my inventory real quick. We're going to put away the um, flooring for now, which I think is actually not that chest. It's this one. Yeah, flooring. Okay, um, and let's put away a little bit more stuff. I can put away you. I can put away you. Um, and I guess as far as the sprinklers and stuff are concerned, I'm kind of going to just have to deal with that, I guess. I mean, I guess I got to deal with it now. I got to figure out what my layout for the next season is going to be because it's about to be that time. All right, first things first, let's get all this coffee out of here. Let us also grab all this wine, and let's put all this honey in there to replace that wine. And so we'll see what this turns into. Oh, and then one of y'all actually said, so let's just wait a second. We're going to save this honey. I'm going to take this ancient fruit, and I am going to turn that into wine. And then there's something that I need to look into, and that is the aging process. Y'all told me exactly what I need to do to do the aging thing. Oh, I need to get going, actually, if I want to do that. Let's, uh, I'll come back. We'll do this at night. I don't want to miss another uh, time limit. Uh, I need to go see Robin. Apparently, there is one more upgrade to the house that I need to get. And uh, I would like to get that as quickly as possible um, in order to be able to age things. So that is the goal. And hopefully, I don't miss this one, too. Oh, my gosh. I am like th I'm the worst when it comes to timing. I think she closes at five, but I just want to be sure, sure, sure. So I'm trying to get here at four. Uh, oh. We made it. Okay, upgrade house. I can add a cellar to your house. A cellar can be used to age certain products like wine and cheese. It will cost 100,000 G. Are you interested? Yes, but I don't have the money for it. Thank you. Okay, so that will be something that we'll be doing. It doesn't cost any resources, which is nice. Uh, it just costs 100,000 Gs, which we'll be able to do soon. And uh, then we will really get into the process of aging both our wines and our cheese. That'll be great. How many rusty spoons did someone bury in this land? Is this the land of a million spoons? Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. That's good. Did you ever take a day off? I don't, and I should. Um, okay. Let us head home. Um, I'm just, I'm, my mind's blown now with the number of rusty spoons I found. It's like this used to be like Spoonview Valley or something like that. Or Star Spoon Valley. That's what it was. And then there was the Great Spoon Battle of 2017. And many were lost, and what it turned out to be was just like, hey, people were like, you can also use forks. And then they were like, oh, how could you? And so then, you know, a great battle was, was had. And now, no one's allowed to use spoons or talk about spoons at all. It's not true. I made it all up. I made all that up. Okay, let's put some stuff away. I need to put away all these, all these seeds. Planted enough trees. We'll see if they grow into saplings. Um... And if they don't, then that means I probably put them too close together, and that's fine. Okay, get all that going. I will need to make a ton of tappers. So it's going to be a lot of copper, a lot of wood. I could buy copper if I really needed to, um, or we can, you know, find other ways. Let's take these broken CDs. Take these broken CDs and learn to rock again. Um, let's put the diamond away, and then we'll put the trash away, and then we'll put the stone away. 
And we're good. Okay. Into the greenhouse. And then finally, we'll go over there and we'll deal with what our farm layout's going to look like for next season. I think we might build it around the concept of... Um, what do you call them? Um, around berries, because I think we'll be getting cranberries. And cranberries, everyone knows, are the ultimate food. So we might just do a ton of cranberries, mostly so that we can um, turn that into like cranberry wine or cranberry jam. And then hopefully we'll have the aging process by then and we can actually turn that into aged cranberry wine and stuff. That should be pretty great. All right, now what do I want to preserve here? We just got a ton of strawberries uh, and we got some... Oh, those guys as well. So let's go ahead and just actually just boop, boop, boop. Do all these. And these. Come on. And this. All right. It's all strawberries. All strawberry jam. That's awesome. That's going to be a ton of money. Okay. Let us put these guys away. And we got tons of stuff to sell. What is it? Two hot pepper jellies, four apricot jellies, six pickled hops. Okay. Okay. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Let us get some... We should have some fertilizer left. Cool, perfect. And let us grab our gold watering can. And I need uh, the seeds. So let us then just put down two more of these guys right about here. Right next to their little buddies. Boop, boop. And we'll put you two boop, boop. And then we will... Boom. Okay, cool. So that should be good. We'll get a couple more things out of that. And pretty much everything out of here is going to go straight into casks. I will um, once, or not cast barrels, and I'll put um, any of that left over in here so that it can go into the next batch. Are any of y'all done growing? Some of these guys should start to produce soon, and so the ancient fruit stuff should really start to get out of control. We should really be making a lot of money, probably by mid-next season, I would think. Okay, I can, I mean, I could chop all these down. It doesn't matter. We'll probably use this same setup for this next um, season, I think actually, ooh, I just had an idea. This might work really well, actually. If we did something like, if I did this, okay, and we did something like this, where it comes up, um, mm, no, that's too far. So it'd need to be like this. Can you build in the shadow of the greenhouse? No, you can't. That's too bad. Because if I could make this line go up this way, and then have these rows just kind of extend along like that. That would have been great. But doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So we'll have to get creative. Um, oh, ap or, uh, peaches and cherries. I was about to say apples. Not apples. Peaches and cherries. Maybe apples next season? No, apples in the fall, I think. Um, okay. It's exciting, though. It's a new season right around the corner. So let's think about this layout here. Because uh, I do like the idea of using these uh, iridium sprinklers to kind of expand the space there. Um, but maybe we lay it out a little bit differently. Let's let's play with it. Let's just start breaking stuff and reorganizing stuff. Let's get rid of all these guys real quick. I know I just put them down, but I need to I need to really think through where I want all this stuff. So, get rid of y'all. And let's get rid of these green beans, just so I'm not making choices based off of that information. Sometimes I do that thing where I kind of go like, oh yeah, that stuff's there, so I need to treat it like it's there. But it's like, no, that's not going to be there tomorrow. All right. All the sprinklers are up. So if I take my iridium sprinklers and I lay them, say we'll put the one there, and then let's say we do, so there's one, two, one, two, here. That will take us out to here. And then... If I were to put a guy, this is a pathway here, bump, guy there, what does that do? Uh, it's not great. It's not great. Um, or we do what I was showing before. We do this thing. But we do it from this way. So we go one, two, three, one, two, here. And one, two, one, two, here. Is that right? One, two. One, two, yeah, one, two, one, two. Yeah, one, two, right, 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 right. And then there's one row here that doesn't quite fit, but that's actually kind of nice, because what that means is we do, we move this along, move it up one, and then it kind of comes straight off of this line. Do, 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 do. And then we can also use this space down here if we want. What do we got, it's 11 o'clock. Okay, let's hurry this up. Let's hurry this up, y'all. We got stuff to do. Stuff to do, stuff to do. Okay, let's go boop, bop, boop, boop, boop. 
And do, do, do. Oh, can I not lay it over? That's kind of lame. That's fine. So, if I go like this, clear out this path, and just go straight across like that. Do, do, do. And do. And do. Okay. Then, if we go do, 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 like this. Yeah, right through here. This will give us a nice big space. We can make this all berries if we wanted to. And then over here, we could mix that up for other things if we really feel like it. But this way, we have this nice big section here. And then we can make a couple of smaller sections over here. Keep this one, keep this one, and just kind of like keep the train going like it was previously. I know it's sleep time, so I need to get in shortly. So something like that and that. One, one, da, 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 da. Okay, and then these last ones can be like this. And like this. And so then this line right here is not actually getting any. So maybe I need to lower them all a little bit. Or, or maybe we figure something else out. We'll think about it. We'll have to look at it a little bit in the next day. Because I do not like these being offset. I need this to be a little bit more even. So maybe we move each of these sprinklers down. And then maybe we lose a little space at the top. Okay, it's 1 a.m. I got to go to bed. Okay, goodbye, good night, goodbye. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well... <laughs> Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, uh, please be sure to give this video a like, favorite, subscribe to the channel. I didn't even sell everything. Um, you look like you're ready for bed, Price. Should I lull you to sleep with the technical details of my latest project? <sighs> to be honest, I'm kind of sleepy, too. You know what? You're right. I really should be going to bed. But I need to sell all this stuff because I need to make all that monies. Mostly because I would like to, next time, be able to get that cellar started. So, pickled hops, hot pepper jelly, apricot jelly. I know I was thinking of giving some of that jelly to um, Shane, but... I think this might be a better use of it. All right. Can't pass out. That's the main thing. I don't want to pass out in the middle of nowhere. We have so much um, energy now that it's really not a huge deal if we don't get fully recharged uh, overnight. But I do need to um, monitor that a little bit so we don't pass out. All right. So let's go to bed. Come out. Day 28. Spring year two. We made some money. How about you? Eight grand, not bad. I think there's still some cheese sitting around. Yeah, there's still some cheese in the um, different uh, than the cheese presses. But with all that, y'all, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the memory talk. I would like to get back into doing some more psych talk, so I will be trying to uh, curate some of those for y'all. Um, be sure to leave me your suggestions for what we should be doing for the uh, summer. Now that it is summer, I know I need to get on top of all those fish we got to catch. Uh, so I'll probably start to get into that right away. And uh, yeah, tell me which crops you want to see. Tell me, give me all your ideas, everything you have for how we should lay out the farm, what kind of stuff we should be having. I love hearing y'all's suggestions. So with all that, Thank you all for watching. If you like yourself, please be sure to give this video a like, favorite, subscribe to the channel, and I will see y'all next time.